Okay, so let, let's go back a little bit to uh, interest, to a little bit more advanced topic on the topic of interest, and that is different periods of compound interest. Now, you recall that we said compound interest is when my interest also earns interest. But we only looked at the scenario where we got interest once a year. Actually, you seldom get interest only once a year. If you go look at my bank account, there's not much in there. But if you go look at it, you might see that I get interest every month. Okay, so you, we can get interest monthly. So we can get monthly interest. Some banks might offer it every two months. Okay, you might get it every two months. You might might get it biannually. Okay, that would mean I get it twice a year. Okay, if I get it biannually, or I might get it quarterly. Actually, I can even get it daily. And to be honest. And this is a, a varsity level question. We can in, even get it continuously. Okay, so my money is growing at a continuous rate. Okay, so these are different scenarios. They might be more. I've only looked at a few. But the very important question I have to ask myself is how many times do I get it per year. That is what I need to figure out right off the bat. So if I get it monthly, I know, okay, I get it 12 times in a year. If I get it every two months, I know I get it six times in a year. If I get it biannually, it's twice a year. Quarterly means I get it four times a year. Daily means I get it 365 times a year. And continuously, obviously, don't worry about that. There's, uh, there's no answer for this question. So how many times do I get it per year? As we said, in one year, I could get it twice. Well, I could get it once. I could get it twice. I could get it four times. I could get it three times. I can even get it 12 times. So uh, that would look like this or even daily. And I'm not going to waste time making all those lines. Okay, so how does that change things? Okay, well, it doesn't really. Okay, if I look at my formula, the only thing that changes in my formula is what n and i represent, and um, that's very little. So i is the interest rate that I earn. each time and n is just the number of times I earn interest that's not different is it number of times that I earn interest okay so let's look at an example and I'll show you exactly so in this question, how much will 400 Rand be worth after five years earning 12% per annum interest compounded monthly? Okay, so it's best that we just first go and draw ourselves a timeline. And in our timeline, we see we're working with five years. Uh, one, two, three, four, five years. At time zero, we had 400 Rand, and we want to know what is the value after five years. And uh, during this time, they are telling us we are earning 12% per annum. That is my yearly interest rate, 12% per annum. However, my interest is compounded monthly, which means I don't just earn it once a month, I actually earn it if, uh, sorry, once a year, I actually earn it every month. So I earn it 12 times in a year. That's very important. So I earn it 12 times in one year. 
which means I'll earn it 12 times here, 12 times there, 12 times there, 12 times there, 12 times there. So in total, how many times did I earn interest? Well, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Tw 5 times 12, that gives me 60 times that I am going to earn interest. If I look at my bank statement, there will be 60 entries, each with interest. Okay, that's the one thing. So let's just write down our formula. Our formula hasn't changed a bit. It's still the same thing. We just need to remember what every value actually stands for. Okay, do I have my future value? I'm doing my stock taking. No, I don't. Okay, that's what I'm trying to calculate. My past value, so remember this is P, that is F, my past value being 400 Rand. Yes. My interest. Now this is where you need to be very careful. This interest represents how my, the, the rate of interest that I earn each time I earn interest. Now I'm not earning 12% every month. I'm earning 12% in a whole year. So I'm earning 12% in a year but every month so that needs to divide it be, that needs to be divided by the number of times I'm going to get it. I'm getting it 12 times. So every month I'm getting 1%, which is just 1 over 100. Okay, very important. Now how many times do I earn interest? 60 times. So that makes this calculation quite easy. All I need to do is substitute. I have 400 Rand that is earning 1% interest every month because it's compounded monthly and it I get that for 60 months now do you notice how my interest rate and my time period or my in they go hand in hand if I'm using my monthly interest then my time period is the number of months that I'm earning interest for okay that gives me let's calculate it 400 times and in brackets I'll have 1 plus 0 comma that would be 1 plus 1 over 100 close my bracket to the power of 60 gives me 726 rand and 68 cents 726 and 68 cents I'm just rounding it off approximately that's what I will get after five years.